Newspaper and voiceover. Back in the 1900s, a little black girl was doing an essay on what is the best way to punish Hitler. She wrote, put him in a black skin and let him live in America. The little girl won the essay contest with those words. Brown versus the Board of Education occurred back on December 9, 1952 through May 17, 1954. James A. Banks, who lived during that time period and beyond, had no memory of the Brown decision. He had no memory of it being mentioned by his parents, teachers, or preachers. It was complete silence in his rural Southern Black community. Racial segregation at this time was both in law and custom in every aspect of life. Banks was an avid reader, but did not use the public library because it was whites only. The movie theater was also segregated. The theater had a color entrance which led upstairs to where the projector room was located. From there, you could hear the rattle of the movie projector as color tried to concentrate on the movie. It was complete silence among the white. No one spoke about Brown in Lee's country, and this was probably caused by fear. The fear that the news might disrupt the institutionalized racist system of segregation had been established in the years after Reconstruction. The Association of Advancement of Colored People and NAACP tried to help by taking on the five cases in the Brown decision to the Supreme Court. But the whites feared the NAACP and called them a dangerous group. Black teachers who were a part of the NAACP was often fired by school boards in the South and white teachers were chosen to replace them. The white school boards controlled both black and white schools. Black teachers taught students to be citizens of the black community and of American society, but did not prepare them to function in a desegregated society. The black civil rights activists led movements to desegregate school, a bitter struggle, but they were successful, but also a left a deep scar from what they endured. As a black student walked to school every day, white moms with white fathers and mothers heard racial slur and rocks at them. The same happened at every school as they desegregated the school. The desegregation of school came with both hope and loss. Many African Americans were damaged as a result when they first entered in the all white Southern schools. Some schools didn't agree with the desegregation of their school and as a result they closed down. As a result of the close down there were no school in, in Prince Edward's country between 1959 in 1964. Teachers were important and respected within the black community. The loss of black schools left a tremendous void in the community. Racial progress in the United States throughout its history has always been obtained through struggle. It took struggle to end slavery and lynching. It was those struggle that black obtained access to public school. Though the historical struggles to improve Racial relations in America, both blacks and white, have been changed. We have come closer to the dream of obtaining a nation with liberty and justice for all. The Supreme Court declared the separation educationalized facilities were wrong and put an end to the system of institutionalized racism that has been inherited since the post-reconstruction period. The white rage was unleashed. Towns were destroyed, but were reborn. Whites fled to suburbs and sent their children to private schools. Private schools were established to escape the desegregating school. The silence, loss, rage, and hope of Brown is still here in black and white communities throughout the United States schools that are now resegregated. Black and white often remain silent to maintain peace. Blacks feel that much of their culture have been lost from schools in their community. Brown gave the blacks hope that America might one day overcome its deeply racial legacy that indicates how difficult this journey was and still is. But America still doesn't like black people and treat them bad. After stealing them, selling them, making them work, being them and more, they are still stuck in their ways and don't try to change. But change is coming, I know it is, but I hope it comes sooner.